I'm Alan Laidlaw, I'm the Chief Executive of the Royal Highland and Agricultural Society of Scotland. Today I'm speaking about Nuffield and why we support people going on their Nuffield scholarships. For us it's a very simple decision, it's about encouraging people to come into our sector, to grow and to learn. Travel and learning from other people is an essential part of growth and it's what our society has been around for 237 years. So, um, sponsoring a Nuffield Scholar makes absolute sense for us. We've had some great people covering some great subjects over the last 50 years and we want to continue that. This year with Covid it's been a real challenge to enjoy the travel and the meeting new people aspect but we hope that that will be back soon and we hope that RAS can continue to support Nuffield Scholars travelling all across the world bringing back new ideas but more importantly also coming back as new people enthused and learning and full of ideas for other people to, to gain from. So from my point of view, the, one of the easiest things that we do each year is to support a Nuffield Scholar. Hi there, my name is Jenna Ross. I'm a 2018 Nuffield Scholar from Aberdeenshire and the chairman of the Nuffield Scotland Regional Group. Now unfortunately we're not able to meet at Ingolston for the traditional Highland show this year but we're really excited to be part of this virtual offering and today I'm joined by Nuffield scholars from up and down Scotland who are going to share their own personal journey and the impact that Nuffield has had on them. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Hi, I'm Heather Wildman, uh, Nuffield Family Scholar 2012. Um, I can honestly say applying for Nuffield has been one of the, the best things I ever did. It's contra completely transformed me, completely transformed my life. Um, I previously had a pretty good career in agriculture, I left school at 15, didn't really know who I was, what I wanted to do and kind of fell into a lot of work and a lot of jobs and, and was pretty successful but I always felt a bit of a square peg in a round hole. Nuffield completely took me out of the comfort zone, it challenged me, it pushed me, I had to mix with people that were different to me but that all had the same similar strive and question and, and knew that I had more in them and wanted to make a positive difference. For me, my light bulb moment in the field was realising that I maybe wasn't as daft or as stupid as I thought and I actually did have quite a lot to contribute and to give and I could make a positive difference. And I had a voice that had something to say uh, and, and, and could and it wasn't always rubbish, which actually I do speak quite a bit of rubbish at times as well. Um, the physical and personal changes I've gained from Nuffield is um, to believe more in myself, to push myself, but that I want to make a positive difference with others and I really want to influence and motivate positive change. And so that allowed me to set up my own business in 2014, um, which now is international and working in leadership programs and developing leadership programs for the young farmers for other organizations do a lot of staff management succession and everything and i would never have thought you know five ten ten years ago that i'd be running my own company got my own business and, and have an international name and brand so i would say if you think you haven't got time to do it you're not pushed enough and you're not worried about change enough Change happens when the pain of staying the same is greater than the pain of change, so maybe you're just too comfortable. But if you want to do something, you will find time and you will make time and you will smash it. Go for it, invest in yourself, it's the best thing you can do. And just think how awesome you could be and the difference you can make. My name is Jim Shanks, I'm an 09 scholar. I did my scholarship on energy from agriculture. I traveled Sweden, Denmark, Germany, uh, and the States looking at all different types of renewables. It was a great insight into a developing industry back then and I managed to look at different things and, and bring them back home and, and also just gain a very outward looking perspective um, on business and on, on life through my Nuffield Scholarship. Uh, we did a, a few things that um, were, were born out of my scholarship. We put on a biogas plant put on uh, wood chip boilers. One of the more quirkier things that we did was that we uh, put on a glass house and started growing tomatoes and we're the only uh, tomato producer that produces for the supermarkets. We're having great fun doing it and really the the seed of it all was the Nuffield Scholarship way back in, in 09. We've now looking at different things to do with with tomatoes and I think my wife has just come up with one of the, the best things uh, that, that anybody can possibly do with tomatoes. It's uh, 
it's it's produced wine would you believe tomatoes produce wine and we're a wee bit like a moonshine cellar here at stand hill and the best thing about all this wine that she's produced she's got about 150 bottles that she's made from tomatoes the best thing is because it's not licensed with hmrc that it all has to be for for self-consumption so it's going to be a lovely long summer with lots of wine there this summer it's not bad stuff even if i'm not a white dry white wine drinker myself cheers folks thanks bye Hello everyone, my name is Caroline Miller. I'm a 2012 scholar and I'm here on the family farm in Angus. I did my Nuffield scholarship on adding value to your farming assets and um, I specialised in agritourism. I travelled to 10 different countries over 16 weeks and um, I thoroughly enjoyed it and I've got so much out of undertaking a Nuffield scholarship um, which was sponsored by by RAS. Since then I have gone on to use my knowledge that I gained during my scholarship to progress our own business here on the farm, our agritourism business. I think the network of scholars around you encourages you to take calculated risks and to have that knowledge to, to make um, informed decisions to grow your business. Um, we've just come out of um, the second lockdown of COVID, we were closed for eight months last year, um, but we're just going for it and spending um, a couple of hundred thousand pounds investing in a new five star hideaway here. So um, probably wouldn't have done that had it not had the support of the Nuffield Business Group, one of the business groups that I'm involved with, with um, Nuffield Scholar alumni. I also have used my Nuffield scholarship to try to progress the agritourism sector, bringing together a, a strong network of farmers and campaigning and lobbying government and other industry officials to recognise the value and potential value of agritourism. Um, so I'd like to think um, my Nuffield scholarship has helped the, the whole sector move forward. I'd highly recommend you undertake a scholarship. Um, it's not just something you do and you stop doing it. You are in the network for the rest of your life and the people you meet um, are absolutely fabulous. And um, I would um, encourage you to be bold and apply. Hi there, I'm Pete Grewer. I'm a 2008 Nuffield Scholar. I did my scholarship on potatoes. Um, I'm a potato and arable farmer um, from Strathmore in Perthshire, but we also farm in the Black Isle. Um, I do a lot of contract farming as well. And for me, the best thing about Nuffield is by far and away the people you meet, whether that's the other Nuffield scholars or whether it's the, the other go-ahead progressive farmers around the world. Um, it's the people you meet um, along the way that is the the real bonus about Nuffield for me. I'm Gordon Whiteford, 2015 Nuffield Scholar. I studied uh, looking at welfare and free range trends and got a little bit sidetracked. Uh, I get more interested in how we should be looking after our soil and uh, adding diversity and becoming some more mixed farming. Uh, so we came home and we established a small micro dairy. Uh, we were the first farm in Bamshire to uh, start milking cows again and we retail the milk through our own vending machine along with our own eggs and some other products and some meat. Um, we're right at the top of the farm here, probably about 60 feet above sea level. You can just see the sea in the background. Um, Nuffield for me has just filled you with inspiration, the people you meet the things that they're doing and achieving. Uh, there's so much positivity um, in the industry and, it, and that just shines through enough of the scholars. Um, so I would encourage anyone thinking about doing enough of the scholar to get out there and, and, and travel the world. Uh, I went to Europe, to South Africa, Kenya and uh, three weeks in America and especially Kenya, South Africa, I never thought that was somewhere I would go. 
but it really pushes your boundaries and uh, you will learn so much from it. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie McIntosh and I'm a 2018 Nuffield Scholar. I'm originally from the Scottish Borders and I'm now based in Edinburgh and I work in the poultry industry. I um, looked into new ways of marketing eggs to keep egg consumption steadily rising for my Nuffield Scholarship and uh, it allowed me to travel extensively throughout the world to um, many countries including Japan and China and Colombia, the US and, and Canada and I got to meet people at the top of their game and I learned a lot from them. Um, I also learned a lot from the different people I've met at the, the annual Nuffield conferences and the Contemporary Scholars Conference which is, is one of the, the best things about, about doing a, a scholarship when you get to go away for a week and meet scholars from all over uh, the world. Um, you, you really do um, develop yourself as a person and um, make an awful lot of good contacts and good friends from, from that experience. Um, the other thing I think Nuffield's helped me with is it's given me confidence um, to, to get myself out there and, and push forward. So for anybody uh, out there who's looking to, to go ahead and, and apply, I would say just crack on and do it. You will not regret it. Hi, I'm Jim Baird. I'm a 2010 scholar uh, from Lanark. Uh, I'm a dairy farmer. We have some renewables uh, and a bit of off-farm interests. Um, I did my study uh, on attributes of enterprising rural businesses, which just was an opportunity to go around the world and knock on the doors of some of the best businesses you could ask on. Um, Duffield just, just constantly gives me that stimulation and motivation. The conference, study groups, the Scottish group, it's just always a shot in the arm, and, and you know, and I just, I just wouldn't miss it. And for my sins, I'm now become a, a trustee on the board of Nuffield. I'm Neil McGowan. I'm a beef and sheep farmer and a ram breeder from Perthshire. And, uh, and uh, I was lucky to get a Nuffield farming scholarship in 2015, which took me to spend time with some of the uh, top. Uh, stud breeders in the world and and visit with some of the, the, the heroes of sheep genetics. I travelled a bit when I left college and uh, 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 stole a lot of good ideas and uh, brought them home and uh, spent the next 10, 15 years implementing them. And uh, I think I was maybe at risk of being a wee bit uh, comfortable in what we achieved and Maybe um, uh, the Nuffield experience, um, uh, stepping away from the business, um, um, seeing uh, uh, what the vision could be and knowing that there's a lot to do to get from here to there um, has, I think, brought back a lot of that, uh, uh, that youthful vigour and uh, enthusiasm for the business um, and that's been a good thing. Um, I didn't have time to do a scholarship. Um, this is a hands-on family farm and our children were pretty young at the time. And uh, to, to be honest, there wasn't really a plan how we would do it, but the team at home really stepped up. And um, I think that in itself has been a good thing for, um, uh, it's, it's been a good experience for the, the it's, it's given the business um, a, a, a bit of freedom uh, to explore new things. And, and I think it's been a good experience for us as a family as well to know that we can uh, get away from the farm. Uh, so if you get the chance, go for it. Thank you. Hi there. My name's John Gray. I'm the Managing Director of Angus Soft Fruits. We breed, grow and pack berries here in Angus on the East Coast. I'm a 2021 scholar, so my journey is just beginning. Nuffield have done a great job in managing to um, introduce us to Nuffield virtually. We've had a pre-CSC where we got to meet several industry leaders and also got some training in video and presentation skills. 
My topic is how we as growers can increase our share of the value chain, specifically berries. I'm planning to study other fresh supply chains in the UK first, including eggs, meat and fish. I'm then going to go to continental Europe and Scandinavia, the US and Canada and Asia and the Middle East. I'm going to be looking at both production and marketing and trying to understand how other growers are making more efficient use of labour and how they're adopting new breeding techniques to improve um, from a varietal perspective. I'm also really interested in understanding how growers are organised in different parts of the world, how they interact with their customers in the market and the role of, of um, such aspects as, as branding, for example. If you'd like to learn more about Nuffield Scholarships, then please get in contact at the email address on your screen. And we'll also be running live drop-in and information sessions during the Virtual Highland Show. So we look forward to hearing from you. Stay safe.